All right, guys, you are looking at a 2022 Bronco Outer Banks that we just wrapped up for our good friends over at Cleveland Ford. And this video is three things that every Bronco needs. What's going on guys? Liam at Two Brothers. We are back once again doing another Bronco video. What a surprise. We have built, I don't know how many of these at this point. I can't keep track. Um, majority of them we haven't filmed, but as you guys know, we filmed quite a few of them. Um, if you're not familiar with some of the other Broncos that we have um, lifted, done wheels and tires on, you can go back through the YouTube channel and find some of the other videos. But Today we have another Bronco. Uh, it's a four-door Bronco. Um, it is a beautiful green color. I can't remember the exact paint code again, but it's all of the Bronco colors are incredible. It's a green four-door, and we are doing a two-inch uh, Rough Country, and we're doing a set of 20 by 10 Voss and Super Deep wheels, uh, and I believe a set of 35s. I did talk about the uh, Super Deep wheels in another video. I wanna to touch on them a little bit more in this video as well. So yeah, we'll go over to the guys, uh, see how they're getting on with it, and run you guys through the process, and then we'll show you the after with the Bronco. So let's get into it. Also, before I move on with the video, this is a set of 40s. That's all I'm gonna say. They're not for this Bronco. Dawson, what are we doing? Uh, two inch rough country. I heard you ran into a problem already. Yeah, it's got <laughs> 300 miles on it and went to take that passenger front axle nut off and the threads are all gone. So what's the plan? I'm going to go ahead and put this lift on and hopefully we'll have an actual either tomorrow or Monday. Tomorrow or Monday? Yeah. It's Thursday today. I really hope we're able to get this out of here tomorrow. Yeah, me too. This guy makes some bold claims about doing this in, uh, what, 30 minutes, he said? Well, hell, man, you're distracting me now. About 10 minutes. I'll away. give you I'll give you 35. All right, cool. And as I mentioned, Voss and Super Deeps. We have only done the HF64s so far, so this is a different style. Got my man Kelly over here mounting them up. Yeah, on a two inch, uh, usually they're a metal puck that come with uh, studs you gotta pull through, but they've swapped them to where the bolt just kind of presses down on there, smack it in there with a hammer. Good. Good to see they're uh, adapting as they go. Yeah, yeah, because the metal ones, yeah, they're metal, you know, but I mean, with what it is, I feel like these work just as good. And it's a lot faster and easier, better. I like it, I like it a lot better. All right, so what's the process with uh, two inch on these? Tie rods come out, sway bar comes out, axle nut comes off, take that upper ball joint loose, let everything kind of hang, rip this strut out, you got two bolts on the bottom, you got three studs and three nuts up top, bring the strut out, put the spacer on top, and then put it all back together. <laughs> that sounded like a lot, but it, it's, it's not. It's really not. trying to pry with that. Whatever gets in my way. Being that this is a non-Sasquatch Bronco, it is an Outer Banks. Um, it does not have reservoirs on the shock, so when you do put the pucks on the top, um, it does 180 it, but it doesn't matter because there's no reservoir. Um, on the Sasquatch ones, when there is a reservoir, you have to worry about what side it is on so it doesn't rub on the axles. 
um, but you don't have to worry about that with these. No, you can't. What you got? Woohoo! Is it your hey, birthday? Shout out to the wife. She already rolled her window. Dang. 30-30, that's right. Just to clarify, we all getting a new axle, right? Oh yeah, sure. You guys would be surprised by the amount of cool stuff that we get to come through the show. Every day there's something new and interesting. This thing is crazy looking. Not to mention this Chevy Supervan, lowered. Shout out to Get A Grip Bicycle. This thing is really, really cool. We don't just work on Broncos, lifted trucks, we do everything. So as it turns out, Get A Grip Bicycle is actually a event that happens. First Saturday of November, big bicycle show, brings in people from all over the country. All about like custom, restored, crazy bikes. Super cool. If you guys wanna check it out, first Saturday of November in Cleveland. Super glued down. <laughs> oh yeah, that one ain't coming off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here I'll stuff is all fiddling with other stuff and we're going to put them in this box. Oh, cool. Ah, Dawson's box. Oh, you, sh you sharing them, huh? All them are fairly think I'm the one that's putting them things in their box, boxes, but really it's killing <laughs> Oh, yeah, I just need some gl <laughs> gloves. So it's better in my box. See, I, I lock it now so you can't get in here. What's going on guys? Sorry to interrupt the video. I'm Liam. I'm usually the guy who is behind the camera, but I'm going to be starting to get out in front of the camera a little bit more often um, just to share some uh, unique products with you guys that we don't always get to film the whole process of and also just share some new products and anything that I think will be interesting for you guys to check out. So today we have this 2022 Ford Maverick. Um, this is one of the sales guys over at Cleveland Ford. It's a small truck that Ford has come out with that I haven't really seen a lot of them on the road and I think that there is a big gap in the market for being able to customize them more in this direction. Um, most people when they buy trucks they want to lift them, put bigger wheels and tires on them, make them more off-road capable, just, just make them look cool and big um, and if you look at this thing it doesn't really work that well with something like this because the truck is very small. Um, but I think for anybody that is interested in purchasing a Maverick, this is a really, really good direction for you to go as far as customizing it to make it more your own. We did a set of H&R lowering springs on this thing, drop it down, fill up some of that wheel gap. And then uh, we also did some Nishi, 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 I don't know how to say it, Vosso wheels in black. So uh, yeah, check this thing out. Back from lunch. There's the spare tire relocation and then there's the reinforcement. This right here is the reinforcement. It bolts across the whole door. So we'll take the door loose and then this will bolt right here all the way across and then the relocator goes on top of that. And what is the purpose of relocating it? It pushes it out and kind of up a little bit because when you put a bigger tire on it wants to hit the bumper and it wants to hit the tail light right here pushes it out and up at the same time. So we do away with the factory bolts, but they're too short, so we replace them with these longer Allen heads. Put these little spacers in right between the, the latch and the reinforcement's kind of tapered so it sits in there, right? The first time I done one of these, I didn't uh, read the instructions, so I just ripped the bolts out and the door fell. And it took us about an hour to get it back uh, lined up right. So important step. 
Now you want to leave all these finger top and put your bolts in over here. You can, you got wiggle room to get them all in there. So I got to start these bolts through here like this. If these were like hair longer, it'd be a lot easier. Peel all our tape off, make sure the door opens, right? They got cardboard crammed in all the cracks. That way it wouldn't move. It. You see your the tailgate harness, it usually goes right here, but in the relocation bracket, it gives you a slot to lower it. That way, when you put this back in there, it's not stretching that wire up too much here. Ready to go. We don't have the spare wheel yet. Uh, it's supposed to be here tomorrow, I think. So we're going to take it back to the dealership. That way, they can have it on their lot. And then we're just going to run down there when the wheel comes in and uh, take it down there, slap it on real quick. Guys, you are looking at a 2022 Bronco Outer Banks that we just wrapped up for our good friends over at Cleveland Ford. And this video is three things that every Bronco needs. Don't worry, I am gonna do a full walk around on this and all of the things that we have done to it, but here's number one. You need a lift or level. Now we have done just about every different configuration of lifts and levels on these Broncos. And this one is a two inch level by Rough Country. Now two inches isn't a lot, but it will allow this to sit up a little bit higher, which means you can then fit bigger tires. Which of course brings me on to number two, wheels and tires. Now I know that that's technically two things. And yes, you could just do bigger tires if you wanted to, but if you really want to drastically change the look of the Bronco, wheels and tires. And that brings me to number three. If you're doing bigger tires, you probably need a relocation bracket. This bracket from Rough Country not only reinforces it on the factory brackets of the hinges, but it also allows this to come out a little bit further so that you can fit bigger wheels and tires on the back. Now, there are many combinations, different varieties of wheels, tires, suspension setups you could run on these, but I think that that covers the three basic things to get your Bronco to stand out from the stock Bronco. Now, when you go to a dealership and you wanna pick up a Bronco, either you're gonna pay big money to get like one of the ones with the Sasquatch package or one of the higher trim models that already looks cool, or you could buy one of the lower end models that has, you know, the boring wheels on it, doesn't sit up crazy high and Customize it yourself through us and we can make it look as good if not better than some of the higher trim models and save you some money. Anyways, what did we do to this Bronco? So, like I said, it's a 2022 Outer Banks. One thing to note that I think is really cool, the fender flares are actually paint matched on this, which I think is a factory option. It works very, very well with this color. Um, but besides that, we did a two inch lift from Rough Country. It's a very simple puck system, um, nothing too crazy. Just lifts it up a little bit, allows you to run a bigger tire. Um, talking of tires, we did a 35 inch Nitto Ridge Grappler. These are 35 1250s. Great, great tire. They ride great. They're really quiet and they last forever. We also did 20 by 10 Vossen HF65 Super Deeps. This is a new line of wheels from Vossen where they take some of their sporty looking wheels and cater them more for the truck market. So they have the same crazy offsets that you expect from 20 by 10s or 22 by 12s, but instead of having a deep dish, they have a lot of concave, which I think is a really, really cool look if you're going for you know more of a sporty appearance with your vehicle fits very well on the bronco of course 
Um, these are finished in gloss black. Huge, huge fan of these. The price point on them is absolutely fantastic. Other than that, we just did the Rough Country relocation bracket on the back, which is a huge necessity if you're doing bigger wheels and tires. That's it for this Bronco and this week's video. If you guys have been enjoying the Bronco content, please let us know in the comments below. We are gonna be making some more Bronco content soon. As I mentioned at the start of this video, we have 40s that may or may not be for our Bronco and we may or may not lift it higher and do bead locks and stay tuned for that. But yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. We will see you again next week for another video. And if you're interested in having some work done to your Bronco or anything else, please give us a call 423-790-7447. My name is Liam at Two Brothers and we'll see you next week. Peace guys.